Double L was started in 1975 by Lynn Johnson and Leland Klinger in American Falls, Idaho. Basically, they were looking for a better way to unload potatoes into their storage. And from those efforts, uh, Double L's grown into what it is today. And what is Double L today? What would you call it? Uh, we are a full, full line potato equipment manufacturer, from planning to harvesting to handling into the storage, out of the storage, and cleaning when you do all of that. And you recently moved to Havern uh, about a year ago? Mm -hmm. We moved at the end of October 2012 into this facility here, and uh, there were a lot of reasons for the move, but probably the main thing was uh, the facility in American Falls was, was not in a position for us to arrange the flow for our production the way we wanted it to be. And when we bought the business in 2006, we didn't buy the building, so we had an opportunity to start fresh, and that's what this facility is, a fresh start for our production. It enhances your production? How much does it improve? I mean, how much more production can you do these days? We, well, the thing that it helped us accomplish probably as much as anything is we build to order, and so uh, we, we may build a harvester today and a piler tomorrow and a truck bed the next day, and we're, we don't worry too much about the order of those things. And in order to maximize the efficiency of a flow like that, we had to have a particular layout, and this building helps us accomplish that. Um, we feel like the layout that we've got over time, uh, when it reaches its maximum capacity, could, could probably uh, double our, our production capability over what we had in the old facility in American Falls. How many people work for Double L today? Uh, today, 103. We've been able to save on electricity costs um, and, and utility expenses. The old building was heated with propane. Uh, this building's heated with natural gas. Um, our paint facility here is a lot more modern than what we had in the old facility. And really the biggest thing is just the layout of the production flow. Um, it's a lot more efficient. So the labor market in eastern Idaho was fairly crowded. And so um, competing for new employees was a little difficult because we were competing with more people. We're far enough removed from that Pocatello Blackfoot area that we don't run into that issue as much here. And surprisingly enough, there's a lot of uh, weld shop, fab shop type capacity in the area, and that, that lends itself very well to what we're doing. So in those ways, it's been, it's been a great move. Uh, we weren't set on leaving American Falls, um, but this spot gave us the best access, the best overall opportunity for the cost. Um, for the land and the construction, it's kind of the best of all worlds, and, and so that's why we chose to do it. We're doing business all over North America. Um, we have our own salespeople and, and service people in Washington, also in the upper Midwest. Um, we have dealers spread throughout Canada and the eastern United States, and uh, we've got dealers and also our own salespeople in other places around the world. So. Um, we're not afraid to go anywhere where there's potatoes if what we've got is a fit for the situation on the ground there. So. It was great. Um, trade missions are good, especially in foreign countries, because it lends a little bit of credibility to the companies that participate um, in terms of what foreign governments and, and customers that may not be familiar with our brands um, would would know on their own, so um, it it uh, it gave us access to customers and people with the governor that we probably wouldn't have been able to get otherwise. So we we thought it's time well spent. We are um, the potato industry is pretty small, and if you travel around the world, you see all the same people at all the same industry functions, and. Uh, it, it, in some ways it's pretty neat because it is a pretty close-knit community in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, the technology allows us to do things that 15 years ago we just couldn't do efficiently and that's changing all the time. So uh, this, this is kind of a little thing, but us being here actually gave us access to internet that uh, allows us to communicate with some of our people that are overseas in a, in a way that wasn't possible in American Falls. And 
just that pickup and efficiency allows us to do things we couldn't do before. So it's all, it's all, uh, it's all part of the world becoming a smaller place, I guess.